Okay, so I picked up this uh, fight stick by uh, by uh, what's your face Mayflash. Um, it's a cheaper fight stick. Uh, about, what was it, fifty something? Um, it's one of those fairly moddable uh, fight sticks. Uh, works with Xbox 360, PS3, and PC. As well as I was using it on Android, and that's why I bought it, was for the Shield TV. <clears throat> it does not work with the PS4 or the Xbox One, unless there's some way of getting around that. Um, the ones that work with those have, like, a USB port in the front, and they accept PS... Was it wired? Only wired controllers through USB or some shit. And you need those plugged in to use them with the PS4 and Xbox One. Which is bullshit to me. I don't know. <laughs> paying that much, paying a certain amount, and then you have to buy Xbox One and PS4 controllers in order to use them. Meh. Not interested. Then again, I don't have a PS4 or an Xbox One, so it doesn't matter to me. And I don't need to pay extra for that feature. Anyways, so what this does have, though, something that an iPhone 7 doesn't have, headphone jack. Also has this dumb vibration motor that they could have probably made the price cheaper if they just took that stupid thing out because it doesn't really, I don't know, you have this thing you put on your wrist and then it vibrates. So I, I, I don't know. Anyway, so this thing apparently supports X input as well as D input. But uh, when switching between the two, I didn't notice there was anything different going on, so it didn't seem like it was doing anything. It was like the placebo switch. Um, so yeah, it wasn't sending different inputs or anything, so it doesn't seem to do anything. There's also a home button on here that didn't work with Android or Windows. So, maybe that's console only, I guess. I don't know. Uh, normally, the home buttons do work with uh, with Android and Windows, though. Um, but anyways, uh, this has the eight eight buttons layout and all that, and it also supports you can switch between a analog stick and a D pad input. So, if, you know, if you're having trouble with the analog stick and the game requires a D pad, you can switch or the other way around and Whatever, whatever. And there's a turbo button on there. So apparently this is not something that's good for, for a tournament, I guess. Some people apparently won't allow that. So I don't go to tournaments. I just sit my fat ass on a couch and uh, play video games uh, with a drink. I... I suck, so there was no reason for, to, for you to see me at a tournament. If you do, I need to be thrown out. Not for cheating, but because I suck. So, there you go. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm not good enough. Um, I did switch this out. Uh, this button here it has been switched out for a red one. There was a white one originally. So, I did like a slight amount of modding. I did also purchase for this. This has a square gate in it. And, uh, yeah, of course, that means that the movement is not as good in fighting games uh, if you play Street Fighter or whatever. It's not very accurate. Uh, pressing, what is it, pressing forward equals down sometimes, and it causes you to lose. And uh, as much as you try to actually get uh, your, your moves correct, it will probably fight with you. The fighting stick will fight with you. Uh, so I purchased an octagonal um, gate. So that's on its way, and I should be able to swap that out and uh, do that stuff. Um, so what else? It's just uh, not much going on here. Select button. It's turbo macro select home. Um, when using this with the Shield TV, I had some issues with it's weird because it's it's not like it seemed like there was. Sorry, I'm I'm actually belching. <laughs> it doesn't seem like there's an issue with so much the stick more than the software. So I normally use RetroArch, but normally when I plug in a controller, the mappings work fine. 
um, so I don't normally have to do much. But in this case, with this control, this fight stick, because it's laid out differently or whatever, uh, I tend to try to, you know, map, match the original uh, arcade mapping. And I couldn't do that for each game. There was no way to configure individual games. I mean, there were kind of was a way, but it didn't work. Um, every time I tried to save a per game uh, input or whatever, it wouldn't let me. Um, it would revert my inputs back to the default. So I would map everything. It seemed okay, and everything worked in the game. And then once I hit save, it would revert it. And if you left, it would revert it. So there was no way I could keep the, the mappings for the individual games. And uh, I can't access the, uh, the uh, machine's menu for the dip switches and everything. There's no way to do that, at least in the version of MAME I was using. Um, there's like multiple different ones, and finding the ROM sets is a pain, and MAME in general is a pain in the ass to set up. And... Uh, yeah, I'm not that good at setting up MAME, but I can get it running. But I switched over to MAME for Droid, which meant that I had to put all my ROMs, my old ROMs that I had for MAME for Droid, I had to put onto the machine. So that's a lot of ROMs. This is a ROM set. Whole thing. Whole thing. Uh, but yeah, so that worked fine once I got it MAME for Droid up and running. The .mu series works fine, so you can map this to that. Um, I tried game stream with this and it does not register the R2 and the L2 buttons, unfortunately. So there's limited stuff you can actually stream. If you have something that doesn't uh, require, you know, eight buttons, you may be able to get away with that. So if you have a very simple game, it would probably work because everything else is fine. Just not the L2 and R2 buttons. So, uh, I mentioned that I did swap this out. Seems like it's gotten scratched. <laughs> um, and I have opened this up. I also, and the screws are all out. Oh, by the way, there's also a USB cable that comes out of here. So you can tuck it away when you're not using it. And that's that. But it does feel hefty. It does feel like it has. Uh, it's not going to fall apart. I guess that's comparing that to this really shitty Xbox original arcade stick I had. It was a generic stick, and it was like this big, and it was made out of uh, like dollar store plastic. So, <laughs> um, the only other stick I had was that Mortal Kombat stick for that he came out with, with for Mortal Kombat Nine. Not the one that was actually easily moddable. That you could open up easy. It was the other one, but it looked like the Mortal Kombat 1 machine. And it was a lot bigger and heavier. And, yeah. But that was too big for me. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so this is the inside. I know, personally, I think the cable management looks a little rough. Uh, but I guess it's better than what I do. <laughs> Mine is horrible. Um, yeah, I've just seen better. And this is the stick. Um, it has the the square um, there, the square gate. So I bought one to replace that. And yeah, so everything you just squeeze and pop right out. The buttons just come right out. Plug new new buttons. Oh God, I hate Chinese food. Plug new buttons in, you know, take everything out, you know, everything seems to be easily upgradable. Um, that's that. Um, so, even the USB cable, so if you, you accidentally break the USB cable or if it wears out, you can just replace it easily. No need to solder or anything. And, yeah, so, that, that's a... Easy, easy fix there. And uh, looks uh, the only thing you can't change the artwork. I guess maybe somehow you can skin it. I don't know. <clears throat> but, yeah. What's this? That's something, some weird piece of plastic here. Huh, piece of blue plastic. It comes with this piece of great, gorgeous blue plastic. Everybody loves it. 
focus camera. Just because I put my hand in front of you doesn't mean you have to go out of focus. You're the Galaxy S8 and you're supposed to have this great focus. Yeah. Hello, notification. Thank you. Anyways, so there's that. And, and this thing goes back. This also comes with uh, separate. They have four rubber feet that you put on here. And uh, they smell terrible. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, they added, they're in a separate bag. And uh, you just screw those on. And that's that. And then, and then, and then, and then, this thing. Am I putting this on wrong? I don't think so. This goes on here, like that. And then it should pop into place. There it goes. And you just put the screws back in. There's six screws. Um, if you're me, you'll probably lose them. Or at least a few of them. Or most of them. Good majority. Then you just screw those back on. For this video, I'm just going to put two in. One at each corner. And because it's going into plastic, you just make sure it's just tight enough to hold it in place. So you don't strip the hole out. And then, uh, yeah, it's all back together. It's easy to repair, easy to mod, and uh, you could probably hide the fact that you have turbo when you go to a tournament, and then nobody will know, and then you can get thrown out. No. But seriously, all seriousness, uh, I'll leave a link to the stick. Um... Like I said, I was able to get it to work with Android, but unfortunately no game stream. Uh, or mostly no game stream, just simple games. No Mortal Kombat X, no Street Fighter 4, or I guess 5, but... Uh, that sucks. But, you know, I, I have my arcade machine, and that works great for that. I just wanted something that I could sit on the couch with and just lean back and relax. Uh, as opposed to sitting on my hard chair. Um playing that arcade machine or standing up or something so figure after work if I want to play some games arcade style I could do that with this stick and uh I don't expect much out of a stick so um you know like I said no no tournaments from me uh but yeah there you go that's that's uh I guess a review from a guy who just wants to play some old ass retro games uh so you can commence the comments about how I'm a douchebag for buying this this arcade machine because you know there's something better than it and I got ripped off and I'm a douchebag and I should be stabbed or something. So yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you for watching. And um yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I said and. Because I guess I guess I'll show some uh, gameplay of this because right now I'm actually uh scraping an entire ROM set for MAME on uh my Shield TV. So when that's done, over 8,000 games, and I'm on 3,665. So that'll be a while. So when that's done, I'll show it off. Thank you for watching.